Hi, Facebook Live. My name is Bernadette Henry from www.makeitfunnyc.com, where I make jump rope and exercise as a whole more fun and exciting for anyone looking to live a healthy and active lifestyle. And today we are talking about good exercises for bad knees. I am doing this jump rope series, which will take from about two to four weeks, and where I will be discussing everything jump rope. So we'll be going from the beginning to before you even pick up a rope to the time that you pick up a rope. If you missed day one, be sure to check it out on Periscope at BER in April 20 or on this make or on this um, fan page right here. Also, be sure to share. Also, if you like what you hear, please tap on the likes and the loves because I'm going to give you some awesome information here. So let's get started. Studies have shown that jump rope burns between 700 to 1,000 calories in an hour. In addition to that, it improves strength, agility, coordination, and endurance. So a lot of times people try to ask, what's better? Should you even jump rope? Is it even worth picking up a jump rope? And I would say, yes, it is. Because jump rope is just as challenging and or is better than running. So basically, I'm comparing um, jump rope to running. I'm not getting all the way into it, but I'm busting a myth that jump rope is bad for the knees because jump rope is not bad for the knees, okay? Jump rope works most of the muscles in the body. Your arms, your shoulders, your core, and your legs are completely engaged when you're jumping rope, which provides a more proficient workout than when jogging on the treadmill. Okay? So, here are some reasons or why jump rope is better on the knees than jogging or running. Number one, number one, and the most important reason is that a lot of people are just jumping wrong. It's just your form. Let me show you something here. This is a jump rope. This is a jump rope. You see how thin this jump rope is? Now, to jump over something this thin, you do not need to jump that high. To jump over something this thin, you only need maybe to jump this high. You don't need to jump that high to clear this jump rope right here. And um, in a couple of more days or weeks when I get into form, I'm, definitely, I'm going to demonstrate how to jump over something this thin. Okay, so that's the top reason is that you're jumping, first of all, on your toes and you're jumping only high enough to clear that rope and, and in turn, it's creating less impact. When you're running, guess what? You have to lift your feet. And not only that, you're putting pressure here, then here, then here, then here, then here, and you're using your whole foot. So that's reason number one. Number two, jump rope, it may be harder than running and jogging. However, it has less strain on the body. Okay, like like I said, once I get to demonstrating this for you, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. You barely have to jump off the ground and you barely have to move your arms. Your and and your whole body is working even with the, the, the minimal movement. Number three, we have compared to running, much of the impact of jump rope is taken through the leg muscles. So uh, it's taken through the legs. So basically you're jumping on your toes and in turn, your calves are working, your hams are working, your quads are working, your hip flexors are working. So you're working every part of your leg muscles um, when you're jumping. And along with correct posture, your core is engaged. And then with all of that happening, it's working with your back, which in turn supports your torso. So it's kind of like you're jumping with a back brace on and then it transfers energy to every part of your body. Transfers energy. So that's just an amazing fact. So this is another reason why jumping is safer on the knees than jogging. And last but not least, and this one is more or less time-wise based, okay? Um, first of all, it takes less time to get an effective jump rope workout than running. Like I said in Jump Rope 101 or the video that we did yesterday, 10 minutes of jump rope is equivalent to a 30 minute jog on a treadmill at 6.5 miles an hour. So I'll say that again. 10 minutes of jump rope is equivalent to a 30 minute jog on a treadmill at 6.5 miles an hour. Meaning that it takes less time, but you'll get the same benefits or even more, okay? So, 
Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. So if you're jumping 10 minutes, that's equivalent to 30 minutes of jogging. So guess what? If you jump for 20 minutes, you done did like an hour of jogging. However, I'm not saying like to be lazy about it. And I'm not saying that you have to jump that whole 10 minutes through. But there are techniques that you can learn to get you through that workout. And let me tell you, once you start, you're not even going to want to do 10 minutes. You're going to want to go overboard. Okay. So with that said, time-wise, um, it takes less time to get, um, it takes less time running than jumping to achieve the same benefits. And because jump rope requires a greater technique, it incorporates more muscles in your body, which leads to greater calories burnt in less time. Okay? And, and that note, on, on that note, you're using less time, which meaning you're using using less impact on your body. So I'm going to review all of those reasons again. So of why jump rope can be safer on the knees than running and jogging. Like it, it has, um, like I said, greater benefits on your body as well as um, your progress, whether you want to gain weight, lose muscles, tone, whatever, or well, tone muscles. So number one, people are just jumping wrong. You only need to jump high enough to clear the rope, which is less impact. And and I'll, I'll expound on this as well. When I was pregnant, you know, a lot of people were like, you shouldn't jump, you shouldn't jump, you shouldn't jump. However, guys, jump rope is, I mean, jogging is actually approved for pregnant women. Pregnant women are allowed to jog. And when you jog, guess what? It's a lot of impact. And if jump rope has less impact than jogging, then jump rope is safe for pregnant women. Okay, number two. Jump rope may be harder than running, but overall it has less strain on the body. Number three. Compared to running, much of the impact of jump rope is taken through the leg muscles. Along with correct posture, your core is engaged and it works with your back muscles to support your torso and transfers energy efficiently through your whole body. So you're doing less, but your body has less, way less impact. And number four, time-wise, it takes less time um, jumping than running to achieve the same benefits and jump rope requires a greater techniques but it incorporates the muscles from your whole body and in turn you burn more calories so in the up and coming weeks I will be showing you the proper form so that you may not hurt your knees okay because like I said all you need to do is jump high enough to clear a rope um, jump rope has been used as rehabilitation for people with knee problems, ankle problems, leg problems. Jump rope is an awesome tool. And because people weren't taught correctly, people are running around with these misconceptions that it's bad for your knees when it's totally not. So I hope that you learned today. And if you really enjoyed what you heard here, please share this out with your followers. It doesn't cost you a dime. Once again, I am Bernadette Henry of www.makeitfunnyc.com where I make jump rope and exercise as a whole more fun and exciting for anyone looking to live a healthy and active lifestyle. Thank you for tuning in.